Okay, wooden wedges are these kind of pieces of wood. You have a painting and your painting maybe sometimes is sagging. In this case, my painting here does not show any sagging, but at this corner, if you can see here, it has been under pressure because I was storing it for a long time. So what I'm doing is to put some of these wedges there to slightly stretch it. So the old way of doing it is that you put it like this. This is, I mean, the, everybody does like that. You put it one here, put another one like that here. And then you tap it with a hammer or a heavy object gently. But when you look at the old masters' work, what they do is actually is different. The old masters put the wedge that they want to go put here in this direction, touch it, and then stretch it like that. And then the next one will be going like that. in the weight which is under here if I find it yeah so you now you have a very firm uh, wedge that will actually work for you you just tap it after this tap it gently um, if you have a ballpoint hammer you can just use it or you can just use a any heavy object gently just tapping it and that will stretch your canvas and that's what I'm going to do now. What will happen is that when you tap this, like the way I showed you, uh, the frame of the can, uh, painting, the frame, when you tap it on here, the frame actually guides it to, to the hole. It very beautifully sits there. With gentle taps, it will be more than adequate. But the old, uh, the other way that I showed, and everybody in YouTube always says you to do this, uh, is uh, just practically distorts the frame a little bit, leaves a gap also, and uh, it may not be also even strong enough. This is the way we have studied the old masters, and the old masters do it like that. I show you again this way that the old masters do. This is the gap that you want to put your wedge in. So you point it like that. And that will be the way it is. The next one that you want to put on the adjacent gap, and that is this one, goes in this way into that gap. And then you gently tap on this end and on this end. I'll be showing you the result again. Okay, that's the second one that I did. And I will do this, repeat this for all the four corners. I've already done two, and I will do the rest. And now I've done the four corner. you look at it and you, you know that this is a master's way. Look at how beautiful they look, how the symmetry is there, you know, it's beautiful. So, uh, this is the painting that I made, I think 2010 or 11 I made this. Uh, painted it and now didn't cost me more than the two pound I think the frame was one pound the canvas itself and the paint I bought it from the Poundland also or 99p shop uh, acrylic and two pound for a painting so this is the way up and now you know how the masters did that I'm old, and I became a master by doing this, or following the masters. I'm an old master now.